क्वेश्चन इज गिवन थ्री अपॉन ए प्लस फोर अपॉन बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव एंड हेयर वन कंडीशन इज गिवन ए बी बिलोंग्स टू इंटीजर सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए प्लस बी राइट सो लेट सी सोल्यूशन थ्री अपॉन ए प्लस फोर अपॉन बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव दिस इज क्वेश्चन सो वी कैन डू यर वन थिंग वी कैन मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए बी ऑन बोथ साइड्स इफ यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय ए बी ऑन बोथ साइड्स लेट सी मल्टीप्लाई बाय ए बी ऑन बोथ साइड्स देन वी विल गेट हेयर ए बी टाइम्स दिस वन थ्री अपॉन ए प्लस फोर अपॉन बी इक्वल टू फाइव टाइम्स ए बी सो यर ए बी वी आर मल्टीप्लाइंग विथ ए बी ऑन बोथ साइड्स नाउ ए बी टाइम्स थ्री अपॉन ए इट विल बिकम ए बी टाइम्स थ्री अपॉन ए प्लस ए बी टाइम्स फोर अपॉन बी टाइम्स फोर अपॉन बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव ए बी राइट Now this a is cancelled from this a, and here b is cancelled from b. So three a plus four a. It will become here four a is equal to five a b. So it will become here three. Uh, this a is cancelled from this a. Here it will become b three b, and here b is cancelled from b. So four a. So here it will become three b. Plus four a, three b plus four a is equal to five a b. This one, three b plus four a is equal to five a b. Now we have to subtract here. Subtract three b minus four a on both sides, right? Subtract three b minus four a on both sides. Then we will get here. This one three b plus four a. Now minus three b minus four a is equal to five a b minus three b minus four a. Now plus three b minus three b plus four a minus four a. It will become here zero is equal to five a b. Minus three b minus four a, so we can write this one five a b minus three b minus four a equal to zero, right? Now here we can write this one five a b minus three b minus four a equal to zero. This one now we we can multiply and divide by five here. So, if we are multiplying and divide uh, with five in this term, so we will get here five a b minus three b times five divided by five minus four a equal to zero. If we are multiplying and divide here uh, with five, then value is same zero. So we will get here now five b. So you can see here five a b. This one, right? This is five a b, and this is three b times five. so we can write this one now take common here taking common 5b 5b taking common 5b on both sides then we will get if we are taking 5b common so left term that is a here so a minus uh, here 5b we are taking common so left term that is 3 upon 5 Three upon five minus four a equal to zero. Now we have to add here twelve upon five, right? So add twelve upon five. Add twelve upon five on both sides, right? So we have to add here twelve upon five. We are taking common five b here, five b. 5b a minus 3 upon 5 minus 4a is equal to 0. Now we have to add here 12 upon 5 on 
both sides when we are adding 12 upon 5 on both sides we will get here 5b times a minus 3 upon 5 a minus 3 upon 5 minus 4a plus 12 upon 5 is equal to this one 0 plus 12 upon 5 right now now here it will become 5b times a minus 3 upon 5 minus now we can take here this is 4 and here 12 so 4 if we are taking common 4 so it will become a 4 3 is 12 3 upon 5 right so we are taking here 4 common we are taking common 4 so a minus 3 4 3 is 12 minus minus plus a, a minus 3 upon 5 is equal to 12 upon 5 now a minus 3 upon 5 a minus 3 upon 5 so first term is a minus 3 upon 5 next one is 5b minus 4 so 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 upon 5 now we can take here lcm so it will become 5a minus 3 upon 5 and next one is 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 upon 5 now we have to multiply with 5 both sides why because we have to cancel this term so we are and here also 5 so we have to multiply multiply by 5 on both sides then we will get here if we are taking uh, we are multiplying here 5 so it will become 5 times 5a 5a minus 3 upon 5 times 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 upon 5 times 5 now this 5 is cancelled from this 5 and here 5 is cancelled from this 5 so here left term that is 5a minus 3 times 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 now we got here two terms two equation that is 5a minus 3 and 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 so now we have to see factor of 12 so factor of 12 is equal to we can say 1 times 12 1 times 12 is 12 next one is 12 times 1 12 ones are 12 next one we can say 2 6 are 2 6 are 12 6 2 is 12 and after that 3 4 is 3 4 is 12 and here 4 3 is 12 so this is the factor of 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 now we have uh, we got here six case for 12 factor of 12 now we have to solve this uh, these six cases so let's see first one so this is case 1 case 2 case 3 case 4 case 5 and this is case 6 so we are taking case 1 so according to case 1 equation is 5a minus 3 times 5b minus 4 is equal to case 1 is 1 times 12 so 1 times 12 now comparing LHS and RHS we got here two equation that is first one is 5a minus 3 is equal to 1 5a minus 3 is equal to 1 next one is 5b minus 4 equal to 12 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 now 5a, uh, 5a minus 3 is equal to 1 therefore 5 a is equal to 3 plus 1 4 therefore a is equal to 4 by 5 4 upon 5 this is the value of a from here and 5b minus 4 is equal to 12 this is equation 2 so 5b is equal to 12 plus 4 5b is equal to 16 and therefore b is equal to 16 by 5 this is the value of b but according to given uh, condition in question that is ab ab belongs to positive integers right 
integer numbers here uh, a equal to 4 upon 5 and b equal to 16 upon 5 so that's why it is rejected now we are taking case 2 5a minus 3 times 5b minus 4 is equal to case 2 is 12 times 1 12 times 1 so comparing LHS and RHS 5a minus 3 is equal to 12 5a minus 3 equal to 12 and 5b minus 4 equal to 1 5b minus 4 equal to 1 now 5a equal to 12 plus 3 5a equal to 15 therefore a equal to 15 by 5 5 3 is a 15 a equal to 3 this is a uh, value of a from case 2 now we have to find out the value of b here so 5b equal to 1 plus 4 1 plus 4 5b equal to 5 therefore b equal to 5 by 5 is equal to 1 b equal to 1 so we got the value of a b from case 2 is a b equal to a is 3 and b is equal to 1 3 and 1 now we are taking case 3 case 3 5 a minus 3 times 5 b minus 4 is equal to 2 6 or 12 2 times 6 so comparing LHS and RHS we will get here 5a minus 3 is equal to 2 and from here 5b minus 4 equal to 6. 5b minus 4 equal to 6. So here therefore 5a equal to 2 plus 3. 5a equal to 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So a equal to 1. Now we have to find out the value of b. So 5b equal to 6 plus 4. 5b equal to 10. Therefore b equal to 10 by 5. 5 to the 10. b equal to 2. This is the value of b from case 2. So we can say a b equal to 1 and 2. Now we are taking case 4. Five a minus three times five b minus four equal to six time two. So here it will become six time two. Six to the twelve. Now comparing LHS and RHS, we will get here five a minus three equal to six, and here five b minus four equal to two. Five b minus four equal to two. So here 5a equal to 6 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 5a equal to 9, therefore a equal to 9 upon 5. This is the value of a. And here b, 5b equal to 2 plus 4, 2 plus 4, 5b equal to 6, therefore b equal to 6 by 5. But according to given condition, AB belongs to integers, uh, integer numbers, and uh, therefore it is rejected. Now we are taking case 5. So here case 5. 5A five times B. Sorry, 5A five minus 3 times 5B minus 4 equal to 3 times 4. So we have 3 times 4. Now comparing LHS and RHS we will get here 5A minus 3 equal to 3 and here 5B minus 4 equal to 4. Now 5A equal to 3 plus 3. 5A equal to 6. Therefore A equal to 6 upon 5. This is the value of A from case 5 and from uh, uh, from case 5 value of b so 5b equal to 4 plus 4 
therefore 5 b equal to 4 plus 4 is 8 therefore b equal to 8 upon 5 again same thing a b belongs to integers now, integer number given in question but that is not satisfied here so it is rejected now we are taking case 6 Okay, 6, 5a minus 3 times 5b minus 4 equal to 4 times 3, 4, 3 is 12. So, again we are comparing LHS and RHS. So, we will get here 5a minus 3 is equal to 4. First equation, next one is 5b minus 4 equal to 3. 5b minus 4 is equal to 3. Therefore, 5a is equal to 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3, 5a equal to 7. Therefore, a equal to 7 upon 5. This is the value of A from case 6. Now here 5B equal to 3 plus 4. Therefore 5B equal to 4 plus 3 is 7. B equal to 7 upon 5. This is the value of B from case 6. But same thing AB belongs to integer number. Therefore it is rejected. Now we have to find out the value of a plus b. So according to case 2, according to case 2, a, b, a, b equal to 3 and 1. Therefore, a plus b equal to 3 plus 1 a plus b equal to 4 according to case 2 and from case 3 from case 3 a b equal to 1 and 2 therefore a plus b equal to 1 plus 2 a plus b equal to 3 so these are two solution from case 2 and case 3 value of a plus b equal to 4 and here a plus b equal to 3. This is the solution. Thank you.